Hi everyone, I'm here with Vasi from Pet Picks, and today we're going to talk about a couple tips on how to style your dog for a Thanksgiving photo shoot. We all want the best photos and sometimes it's hard. So Vasi, thanks for being with us. Thank you for having me here and I'm so excited. Yay, we can talk about everything what I love to do. Yes, I'm so excited. Okay, so I'd love to hear um, just what you recommend for getting your dog to, you know, do those poses that we want for our holiday cards or whatnot. Um, what are your tricks? How do you how do you do it? Well, I first of all uh, start with an idea. You know, like build the idea. I would go to Pinterest and decide, okay, that's what I'm going to do. Then I secondary, I'm going to see what I have at home because I almost true believer, you know, let's utilize what we have first before we go and start shopping, right? <laughs> and once mm -hmm. I have everything, then I'm going to decide on where I'm going to take the pictures. Am I going to take them inside in my home or am I going to go outside? And then, of course, we know that, you know, we have people and followers from all around the world. So if by me in Florida, it's really hot, then maybe in your city where you live, it's a little cool. So keep those things in mind when you decide on location. Then tip number four is going to be uh, is just prep everything like, you know, get, let's say, for the holidays, for example, pumpkins, if you're doing Thanksgiving or if you're doing, you know, holiday, holiday, get everything in order get things ready and then make sure your babies are in position to take pictures. This is really crucial because a lot of times what people do, that we will have everything, but then it takes a little time to tweak it and we are losing the baby's attention. Uh, yes, yes. So get your props set up, whether it's inside or outside. Do you recommend having like someone to help you? Like how do you corral the dog? I mean, what if you have more than one dog? Um, any tips on that if you're like all set and ready to go, but you've got to still corral the dogs to get into spot until they're into their spot. So if you have the opportunity, friends, to have someone to help you, absolutely. It can be a family member. It can be a friend, you know, having someone to help you. And typically the way I tell my clients and my students is that you're going to have this person next to the pet or pets in next to the i call them furry kids because safety comes first so then you can go in position where you like to take the picture and then let's say if your friends are holding the babies you right before you're ready to press the button tell your friends to step out and okay. that's how you're going to take the pictures okay got it okay and what are some of your um what are your ideas that you've seen for thanksgiving specifically because I know it's right around the corner. Like, how do you get in the spirit of Thanksgiving with your pets? Well, when I hear about Thanksgiving, and I actually, I am prepared. I do have <laughs> some zappa. I would say first, friends, it's to decide about what type of colors you're going to use. Because, like, for example, I always like a little more of a organic and natural colors. They look really nice. I do like, of course, orange, but I kind of like this orange a little better. So, to me, there will be pumpkins. Interesting fact about the pumpkins as we know they are also different sizes so when you're picking pumpkins make sure that they're not too big to overwhelm the size of your baby so if you have a yorkie and let's say we know yorkies are considering small size but then if you have a golden judo they are a little bigger right so yeah. kind of keep this in mind and leaves i really really love to use faux leaves and so you can see here i actually do have some and Vasi, you know, Vasi, I'm prepared. Uh, and so you can use leaves. And as you can see, those, of course, they are fake, uh, but they are kind of a matte finish. And those have a little sparkles in them, which is going to reflect when you're taking pictures, depending of the lighting. So make sure you pick the right one, especially if you're dressing your furry babies, you would like to have color harmony, because as we know, uh, brands are looking for simplicity. So when you use props, they don't need to take away. And at the end of the day, your baby it's the main subject or your babies. Awesome. I love it. Thank you so much. So we got to remember, keep it simple with your props, scout your location. And if you can get a friend or family member to help keep the babies in line. 
Exactly. And this is, I have this uh, expression and this is how the magic happened. And friends, believe me, I have photographed typically over a, a thousand for kids a year. So I have a lot of experience, 10 years in photography and teaching and coaching and simplicity. You know, it's that's what really on the end of the day, I always believe that when we press the button, we actually create a memory and always think about not only the moment, but about in 15 years from now, what, what would you like to see? your yes, babies. I love that. Thank you so much, Vasi. Will you let everyone know where they can find you if perhaps maybe they need to hire professional help for photography? <laughs> Thank you. It's very easy. It's petpixacademy.com. I also have my Instagram. So it's P-E-T uh, P-I-X dot com. And we have a pet podcast. They have really great free courses. You can check them out. And I always come up every week with new content. So check it out. I cannot wait to meet you and your babies. Awesome. Thank you.